Anybody remember the movie Chariots of Fire? The movie is about an Olympian from the 19, I think 1926, a, a Scottish man by the name of Eric Lytle. And, and Eric was a strong believer in Christ, but he was also a fabulous athlete. He was a rugby star in Scotland and a runner. His, his race of preference was the 100 meters. And, and he beat everybody in Scotland, qualified for the Olympic team, and went. But here's the thing that happened. At, when he qualified for the team, it was announced that the race he was going to run, the 100 meters, this was in the 1924 Summer Olympics, that race was going to be ran on a Sunday. Well, Eric, he had conviction, strong conviction that he wouldn't race on Sunday. Can you imagine the uproar in Scotland? Can you imagine the headline when he announced, I will not run? Oh, the pressure they put on him. And I wonder uh, among us here today, is there some people that are convicted enough about some things in your relationship with God that even under that kind of pressure, you would not bow for personal fame and personal fortune. There are people that come to church and they, they cry and they jump and they say they love the Lord, but they their convictions are only as deep as self. Eric Lytle had some convictions. He refused to run. It looked like he would then not be traveling to be part of the Olympics. But they decided that though he could not run or would not run in the 100 meters on Sunday, he would be allowed, still eligible, to run in the 400 meter race another day. And so he accepted. Now here's the thing. He had not trained for the 400. He was a 100 runner. He had broken all the records in the 100, but he had not trained for the 400. But he went into that race. All eyes on this foolish man who could have easily taken gold in the world. What will he do in the field? He began to run. And he ran, and he passed everybody in that pack, but he didn't stop by beating them all. He set the world record. How many understand that there are dozens and dozens of gold uh, uh, Olympic winners that have never had a movie written, uh, produced about their life? Are you hearing me? There are dozens and dozens that have never had any books written about their life. There are dozens and dozens that have long been forgotten though they won the Olympic gold. But Eric Lytle made a decision. He was willing to lose his life for the sake of Jesus. He was willing to lay down his ambition for the sake of heaven. He was willing to stick with his conviction and be true to what he believed. And if you don't help me praise God, I'll praise him by my myself because I believe God's got some champions in here today God's raising up some men and women that are going to take stands in the day we're living in